welcome to our video series covering how to prevent catheter-associated urinary tract infections, also known as CAUTI. I'm Charles Kraft, a registered nurse and senior consultant for Cardinal Health's clinical operations team. In today's video, we will cover in detail the proper way to maintain a Foley catheter, basic yet critical steps we can follow to help prevent CAUTI in the patients we care for. During your patient's stay, it's important to avoid contamination while maintaining their Foley catheter. Follow these recommendations to help minimize the risk of CAUTI. Maintain a closed drainage system. Maintain unobstructed urine flow. Use standard precautions during any manipulation of the catheter or collection system. Do not change indwelling catheters or drainage bags at routine fixed intervals. Do not clean the periurethral area with antiseptics to prevent CAUTI with catheter in place. Routine hygiene is appropriate. Keep the bag below the level of the bladder at all times. Empty the collection bag frequently. Unless obstruction is anticipated, bladder irrigation is not recommended. Follow your facility policy for daily review and assessment of Foley catheters and remove them as soon as it is clinically indicated. Bacteria may also enter the urinary tract after emptying the drainage bag. To help reduce risk, use standard precautions during any manipulation of the catheter or collection system. Empty the drainage bag regularly using a separate clean collection container for each patient. Avoid splashing and prevent the drainage spigot from contacting a non-sterile container. Do not rest the collecting bag on the floor. Specimens collected from an indwelling urinary catheter must be noted on a laboratory requisition or in the urine culture order. Follow your facility's policy when collecting urine specimens. Obtain large volumes of urine for special analyses aseptically from the drainage bag. These should not be used for cultures. If a small volume of fresh urine is needed for examination, such as urinalysis or culture, clean the sampling port with disinfectant. Aspirate the urine from the port with a sterile syringe or cannula adapter. Only specimens collected from a specifically designed sampling port or from the catheter directly should be submitted for analysis or culture. Under no circumstances should a sample from a catheter tip or drainage bag be submitted for analysis. Transporting patients with Foley catheters present additional risk of contamination that may result in a CAUTI. To reduce risk of CAUTI during transport, Empty the drainage bag before transporting the patient. Keep the catheter and collecting tube free from kinking. Keep the collection bag below the level of the bladder at all times. Do not place the collection bag on the patient's stretcher. Do not rest the bag on the floor. Perform hand hygiene and don gloves. Place an absorbent pad under the patient's buttocks. Attach an empty, 10 milliliter syringe to the inflation port of the catheter. Withdraw the water to deflate the catheter balloon. Gently slide the catheter out of the urethra. It is not necessary to clamp the indwelling catheter prior to removal. As a clinician, careful attention to your facility's protocol for treating patients with indwelling catheters can help minimize complications and maximize positive patient outcomes. Removing the catheter as soon as possible is very important in reducing the risk of infection. For additional information on placement and care of indwelling catheters, please refer to your facility's policies and procedures and your Foley tray insert, or contact your Cardinal Health sales representative. We hope you found this video informative and interesting. Thank you for your time.